Okay, here with our next game. Um, I've done quite a bit of DD lately, so I'm gonna do an immortal game. I'm going to showcase one of my favorite rushes of all time. The War Chariot Rush. I use this to climb from Noble to Immortal. Uh, it's pretty cheesy, but <laughs> it's funny when it works. It can go horribly wrong as well. We're gonna try it out. It depends on your start, really. You need, like, good production and food, and that's it. Pump them out. There's a couple ways to do War Chariot Rushes. You can go super duper early at 2000 BC, or you can... Maybe wait a bit if you want to build the Great Lighthouse or the Pyramids or something uh, or settle a few good cities. You can go with three or four cities and just do it at the Horse Archer Rush period. And you can even get Horse Archers as well and combine them with War Chariots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a really powerful unit. You can use it in a lot of ways. I mean, you can even go to Catapults and just whip Catapults into War Chariots and use both of them together. It's pretty cool. Um, spiritual creative, great traits. Wheel agriculture, great techs. Very fun leader to play. I do recommend her. She's not overpowered apart from the unit. As a regular leader, she's good and, you know, helps teach you to beat the game without relying on financial cheese or philosophical. Um, I think financial is a bit cheesy. It's just too good of a trait compared to the others. Um... So yeah, if you can beat like DD and stuff with her, you're in really good shape. Or just with any leader that's not financial or philosophical. They're just so much better than the other traits. Anyway, um, yeah, 5 strength immune to first strikes. It's almost like a horse archer, except it only costs 30 hammers. A horse archer costs 50 hammers for one more strength. So yeah, obelisk, we're not going to be using that. We're creative and this requires mysticism and monument. Yeah. That's really not the start I want for this. A whale and a silk, bro. Uh, I have a fair enough for us. That's a nice tile. That's actually a really, really nice tile. That's like almost as good as a gem mine. I'm not going to complain too much, I guess. The food is a bit disappointing, though. Double fur. Double silk. Well, that's a nice commerce capital. Wow, that's a lot of... I mean, later on, it's going to be a beast for teching with bureaucracy, but... A bit awkward in the early game. Um... Pff, fishing, mining, brunt... No. I think I farmed the floodplain and go hunting, mining, bronze working, honestly. <laughs> Farm the floodplain, get the fur, hunting, mining, bronze working, fishing, chop out some stuff. Uh, it's just really weird though. <laughs> Not the kind of start for a war chariot rush, but anyway. Could be okay. It's interesting. I'll play it just because it's interesting. It's supposed to be a Pangea, but this is really weird. I hope there's a nice spot up here. That's kind of... I don't know. The river's nice, but there's no food. The lions don't count as food. No, there's nothing. Wow, man. Oh, do you want me to go on the hill or what? I guess I should go north. Okay, that's a bit better. But that's pretty far. But I guess I can go here. Oh, what? Okay. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying Could go brun the, the fishing first before bronze working. <clears throat> I 
No, I need something for my work to do, so bronze working first. If I had two floodplains and could do two farms, it would be a lot better, but this is weird. Gonna be a really slow settler. It is entirely seamless for a young man killed. Oh, I can chop it. Lie mangled by the bronze spear. In his death, all things appear fair. Maybe it's not even worth improving that one yet, and I should be chopping actually. My chop, chop, and then improve it and get my settler out. Ugh, oh, 15 turns. Yeah, I need to chop, and then we'll improve it after. Pottery! Go animal husbandry, maybe I'll find horses. Need horses if I'm gonna do war chariots anyway. And the wolf died now that a, now an archer can spawn here. Come on, horses! Hey, nice. Shall be the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kind, and flocks of Perfect. The Pottery, what? Should scout up here a bit more. Forget that fur, I'll go hook up the horses, I think. Fishing. See what else is up there. Um, road as I walk toward the horse. No, go away! Are oh, you stupid old clammy bastard? Three cities already. Oh man, not the kind of, kind of guy you want a chariot rush either, but I think I have to. Absolute bastard. Took my only spot. Oh, that's so crap. Where am I supposed to go, man? A desert gold is not helpful for this. Where claims forest? I guess here, just for the forests. And we'll figure something out to do there. Maybe grow to size two, work two mines or something. Oh, come on, man! 9% and now 34%. Okay, dude. Wow, man, this game is really giving it to me. How dare I play with War Chariots, dude? How dare I? Being a bastard to me. Oh, this is really bad. Um, geez. You know what? Worker. Best thing to do. That's really the problem when you have these slow fishing starts. People just... You're always slow expanding when you have a fishing start like that, so people will just steal all your spots and then you get screwed. Really messes you up. They're not coming in yet. Hath not the potter power over the clay to Lost two warriors to bullshit. And another under dishonor? Okay, that's a bit better. Well, I think I just stay at size 4 and produce everything now, slowly. One more warrior. 
I have forests, guys. I have forests. We'll chop and mine that tile. I got my watch here. It's Sitting Bull's going to get it. No, screw that guy, man. We don't need a granary here. There's nothing to grow. There's no whipping to be done. A lot of forests, though. That's what I like to see. Sure, dude. You're gonna die. You're gonna get it. I don't care if he's the strongest AI in the game in this era. I'm gonna take him on. I don't care, man. Got marble, but awkward spot, isn't it? Good tile. Yeah, we just chop like an animal. That's fun. Need a mine here. <clears throat> no, we don't. The three hammer tiles good enough. Not worth it to build a mine when you can get an extra chop. Forest grew in my way, man. Okay. <laughs> That's actually annoying. Slows me down, but I will just chop it, I guess. He's probably gonna have like four archers in there. I need like eight chariots. It's Sitting Bull. Don't underestimate him. Definitely need like... Maybe seven can do it with any luck at all. Well, we can, we can check. Oh, there's only two actually. Hmm. You might get a third. Yeah, you're irrelevant, Mr. Barbarian. Alright, next turn we go in then. He's gonna get it. Go for it, why not? Alright, you do you, buddy. Okay, he... Got a dog soldier, but that's fine. That that's an axeman. Yeah, protective archers, dude. <laughs> Ninety-nine point nine against the dog soldier, though. Got his copper too. No spearmen for him. He's only going to be able to build dog soldiers. That's actually low key good. If he can only build dog soldiers. Get out of here, sick of you. Freddy Rick founded a religion. Nacho and a dog soldier, well that's actually pretty easy. I don't know if he takes if he has any chariots, I'm gonna risk it anyway. If he has a chariot and takes it back, well poo, but I'm going to risk it. No, he didn't. Okay, we take this one now. No luck at all, man. Um... Another worker. What a nice guy. Yeah, 
There we go. Reinforced now. <laughs> you thought I couldn't do it, did ya? Well, think again, punk. <laughs> Even Big Sitting Bull can't take the heat. Where do you think you're going, bro? I do not speak with liars. Well, I do not speak with people that settle in my face and steal my spot. With their stupid face. Like, how much resources do you need, bro? You got you got a two floodplains, copper, cow, and clam, and... What did you leave me? Nothing. So, go to hell, dude. You die. How dare you play the game correctly? That's illegal. How dare you? Yeah, my power is like the same as Frederick. <laughs> Just a handful of chariots. It's kind of funny. And yeah, I'm taking to horseback. Maybe a cottage or two now. Try and keep our economy rolling a bit here. But I don't need to settle cities if Sitting Bull settles them for me. Pretty cool. I'm not sure if he's coming. We, we can check that though. The hell is that? A joker is what it is. There's another spot down here. I don't know how good it is, but spot's a spot. His capital's probably going to be stuffed with units, though. We can try, but I don't think I'm going to really be able to take... Oh, his capital... No, it's not on a hill. It's, it's right there. Still going to be tough, though. Oh! Unless he does that. Um, let's take those guys out. So regular chariots would die here. Regular chariot would have like 20% odds. A war chariot has 73. So yeah. Oh yeah. What the? Huh? What, what was that? Oh my god, one archer. Oh wow, if, if he doesn't whip next turn, oh my god. He's completely undefended. If he doesn't whip next turn... <gasps> I got his capital. This sitting bull with one archer in his capital, that's a rare sight, dude. He's probably gonna whip though. Yo. No, he didn't! Oh my god, I have a shot at this. I need a little bit of luck here. Oh, it's looking promising! Not that one, this one. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that's freaking great. He moved out two guys, so he had three archers, but he moved two out with the settler and then one into the forest for I don't know what reason. So he had four archers, potentially, but he moved three of them out because he's an idiot. And so now he's just dead. Pretty lucky on the timing of that, not gonna lie, but... I'm not gonna complain, man, that was awesome. <laughs> uh, that warrior needs to be built. If I want that warrior, I need to build that before I get that copper. Otherwise... Won't be getting a warrior. Let's... I need to like chop that guy. Uh, I want a couple warriors. You know what, I can just build warriors here. What am I doing? I would just want a warrior to sit in each of my cities. That's... that's all. I need two warriors though. Maybe more, so... Ah, uh, now you'll talk. Oh, that's freaking great. 
Okay, so this city, I might even put down like a farm or something to help it actually grow later on. There you go, strongest AI in the early game that kicked his ass. Alright, with a little bit of luck. Let's get the beaver actually roaded now. I have one cottage being worked, that'll do for now. Um, do I want... Does he have a... He, he's got nothing, man. I, I'll just keep rolling. I still have my medic, right? Yep. We'll just heal here and go in again in a minute. Mound City. Get that warrior out because my border's about to pop and get me copper. Um... I don't know what I'll chop in here. Maybe a library or something, but... Oh, you're down there fog busting. Nice, bro. Look at this. I'm stronger than Frederick. I have the same power as Thinger. It's kind of funny. Because his staff is such a disadvantage compared to the AI on Immortal and Deity, but even even though, though... Despite that, I'm still gaming. I'll trade horseback riding to get Alphabet, no problem. The fur giving me a lot of money. Oh, I should have wrote it that before moving that guy, but it's only a minor thing. Alright, so what's he got? He's got nothing. He might even have another worker in there for me. Maybe I should catch him. Sitting Bull Bro, I need workers. Would you care to assist me? I think I want to get that. By the way, um, I don't know why I'm building a library in here. Do that, I guess. Um, you should grow and then get a settler. I'm gonna farm this because it's, it's not enough food, um, and I'll irrigate it later. Seems fairly sensible. This is a nice city, and that's a nice city. He's got gold in his capital. What a bastard! And double corn. And a river. And forests. This is like the dream for rushing. How, how do you do that bad with copper and gold, man? Uh, he just got his copper and he didn't get to build a single spear before I took his city, so that was kind of nice. That That's like an early chariot rush for you in a nutshell, yeah? You just take them out before they can even get metal. That's why chariots are really, really strong if you do it early. If he got spears, it would have been complicated, but he just hooked it up and did not get the chance. Unlucky, dude. I think a library at this point for teching. Dr. Sitting Bull. He's whipped an archer with triple promotions. Oh. I still have a 10% chance and then a 9% chance to run away. Now, a regular chariot would have like 1% chance here. The war chariot does have 10. And he did get badly wounded, so now he won't be an issue. And there you go. Kablamo, I finally won a 30-40% fight. And I get 86, and then his stupid dog soldier... 99.5. So his dog soldier is actually worse against... War Chariots than the regular Axemen because it, the base strength is even lower. It doesn't matter that he has 100% for smelly units. Chariots are mounted units. But because he's a 4 and the Chariot is 5 plus 100%, you know, that turns his 4 into a 2 as you can see here. Or, in other words, you know, he might be 4 with 25% defense so he's a 5 but because I have 100% it puts me at 10. And that's like you know, double his strength, and that's why I have 99% here. So, goodbye, buddy. Too bad he didn't build me the pyramids. But, that's the War Chariot Rush right there for you, folks. If you ever wanted to see it, there you go. Find horses. You don't need much. I did it with this crappy city working two forests. It gave me forests. That's all I needed. I, I chopped out, like, six chariots from that city. That, that's all you need, man. Barracks and chariots. I didn't even build a granary here. I just went for it. Like, this is how you early rush. Some people have wanted to see it, so yeah, that's how it's done. Pretty happy with that. 
Now, if he had a billion guys in his capital, I could have probably ceased fire, waited for him to move them out with a settler, because he was bound to do that eventually, right? Even if not then. Um... I'm gonna go there with a the settler in a minute. He was bound to do that eventually anyway, so... I think it's fine. And I would have just waited for him to do that and then maybe ignored the ones escorting the settler and rushed his capital and then taken those guys out, but I did everything because... Uh, you get the idea. Okay, so we need a tiny bit more beakers for horseback riding. I mean, do I even need horseback at this point? I mean, I could, and I could keep rolling. Now, these people are kind of far away, though. I have room to expand now. <laughs> it's six cities. They've all got less than six cities, so... There's my super rex. And my economy is obviously struggling, but I have gold, I'm building cottages, I'm getting libraries up, I have... I don't have trade routes because everyone's really far away now. It's just Sitting Bull was in my face and everyone else is actually really far, it's kind of weird. But, yeah, I don't know. I went horseback riding in case I needed to go to horse archers to, like, finish him off. Well, Frederick appears to be volunteering himself to be next, it seems. And the double fur is kind of nice. I rarely get to have fur in my capital. It's a really rare resource to start with. It's like gems, kind of rare. But it's not bad, especially if it's in a forest on plains like that. I mean, that's almost as good as a gem mine with just two less commerce, if you get what I mean. I think that's honestly as as good as a gold mine. Like, you look at the gold mine, it has way more commerce, but it has no food. So I'll probably be whipping it away half the time, or be crippling one of my cities. The ferret has a food on it, and still two hammers. So it's actually a pretty useful tile to work. Doesn't completely cripple your growth, you know, like, if I wasn't working all this crap, you know, if I worked the farm here, I could still grow, right? So, you know, the fact it has a food on it is actually really good. That's why I love gems. They have food as well, and tons of commerce. That's my insight on that. It's, it's actually a really good tile. She's a bit far away. Try and get alphabet. If you speak the truth, have a foot. Yeah, dude. Our close borders spark tension. I am Hatshepsut with friggin' Alexander's personality, pretty much. <laughs> That's how I play Hatchy. She wouldn't hurt a fly, but when the player plays her, you can be a real beast. Kick ass, it's fun. Um... Look how many guys I got, holy shit, we can really go smash someone. Yeah, Freddy's gonna get it. I'm gonna start moving my units down. I'm gonna put a thing there. I'm just sitting there with my chariot. I want a thing here, and I want a thing uh, maybe here. Would be nice. Kind of getting ready for that. I think in Mound City I'll whip some dudes out. What the hell? Who's spying on me? Do I want to do that with you? Yeah, that's okay. Ivory, by the way. If I could get his ivory, I could keep rolling. As I have horseback, I just go math construction, then I can continue with elephants. Pretty cool, even if they get longbows. Oh. Um, I'm probably a while away from calendar, so I'll go ahead and cottage that tile. Uh, I think I want to get a settler here. I have a granary, so I might as well just wait until size 6 and just whip it, though, to be honest. I don't want to pay for my units like that, though. Stay stay in the territory, man. That's fine. So do I have Confucianism in here? No. Of course not. Lame bastards. Sitting Bull didn't even improve his fish. What the friggin' hell, man. I'll 2-pop whip a settler in Cahokia. And 3-pop whip one in here. Yeah, just keep working food and stuff, dude. Okay, you need to get the granary chop-chopped. Anyone want to give me math? 
Let's keep Frederick behind. He doesn't need to. He doesn't need to be catching up at all. I got some stuff off Darius though. Darius. Good tacker. Good guy. Only four cities. It'll be a nice one to eliminate later. Check this out. Ah, there's Darius. I see. Um, I don't really need the copper. It's a bit out there. Rather the Plains Hill, maybe. I think it's okay. Just a bit out there. Might be worth it, but... Yeah. Go for a stable here, I think. And I'll just, like, slow build guys at size 6. <clears throat> Not the kind of capital you're gonna whip. Not enough food, but we're making it work, you know. Still a good commerce capital. A lot of commerce here. I guess I'll go road all the way over to Darius. What are we doing here? You're working a bad tile, my man. You also need that tile. You need that tile. Yeah, it's probably still better to do that. Method 4. Yeah, maintenance is a bit... We'll manage somehow though, it's okay. Just need some trade routes from the good guy Darius here. I should probably wait until Thingo before I chop too much. I'm gonna get ready to hook that up. I'm close to Monarchy, I think. Close to getting a Monarchy trade. But don't finish that yet. Wait, wait for Meth. Be so much better. You also wait one turn here. Yeah, dude, you're one chariot, man. Okay, man. Gonna have to have words with you about that, I think. Don't need to go there. Oh, I was gonna. I don't think he has metal. No, he doesn't have metal. He doesn't have iron working. He has he has no metal. Oh my god. A Freddy with no metal. No, that's the kind of stuff you want to see. Oh, there's his metal. Won't be letting him get his hands on that. Nice! Where's my medic? Here. Protect him. <laughs> Chariot rush shenanigans. It's fun stuff, isn't it? People already have that. Without doubt Feels bad. And truth without error, it behooves us to place the foundation Going a bit broke. We'll find a way to work to manage though, I think. I just need trade routes from Mr. Darius here. Guys are a bit spread out. Let's try and oh man. let's try and organize a bit here. Need to get a regroup going here. I haven't been making many units. I need archery. I just got archery. Cool. So I can make horse archers now, which we'll be doing a bit of. I might even whip. No, I won't whip this capital. No, no, no. no.
What's this? Settler? Okay. I want to raid into Darius. I need the money. I'll go bother Frederick in a minute. I don't want to spook him too much, so we'll just wait. Monarchy, I need okay, I'll take this deal. Oh you're going for that, you witch. They'll get over it. Similar are the race of the immortal gods <clears throat> and the race of men who walk upon the earth. I really want to get like monarchy. Who wants to get me a scientist, by the way? Probably, like... One of these cities up here. I have stone, I could build the mids, but... Pfft. Oh, nice land, my man. Holy crap. That's some nice land there, Freddy. Pretty sure from this tile I'll be able to go straight to his capital or whatever that city is that's there. Food is a bit. Oh, wow. <laughs> the Lord bless you and keep this is what happens when the, the early rush and get too many cities too quickly. To you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Kind of go a bit broke. Three archers. See what I mean? I'll just get lucky on like one fight, I'll be okay. Probably run scientists in Cahokia. He got a chariot, that's not going to help him. Okay, unfortunately, it's across the river. I just need like one luck shot here, and then I've got him. Yes! Yes! Okay, okay. Get owned, dude. Get owned. <laughs> uh, that's great. Maybe I can get monarchy off him. That'll fix my problems. Maybe he'll be nice enough to give me monarchy, yeah? I also got another gold mine here. That'll actually keep me rolling. Selling that might be a bad idea. 
I need a work boat. For that one. <clears throat> okay, monarchy. Yes, I can do horseback for monarchy. He can give me, I don't know, currency maybe. Oh, not yet. Or oh, maybe, actually. Maybe that is worth it. Alright, fine. A multitude of rulers is not a good thing. Let there be one ruler, one king. What are we chopping a light? Why are we doing a lighthouse? Stupid. <laughs> Little bit of luck, but I don't care. <clears throat> Well, don't sell in my face, bro. You could have gone like over here. He went right in my face. Close borders spark tensions, you know. Yeah. Right. We want that. We want. Uh, I need to get to currency or I'm going to die, pretty much. If I keep taking cities, I'll be fine. She has currency, maybe I should have attacked her and got it off her. Oh, you got gems, buddy. I'd hate for you to lose them. Two archers and a chariot. Sounds good, my man. I don't know what I'm doing over here, actually. Go back. <clears throat> yeah, I'm kind of going broke. In case you didn't realize. I'm clinging on. I think you owe me calendar. I don't want him killing off my medic or taking the city back while I'm trying to reinforce. <clears throat> no need for that. We'll just get a quick regroup before we go in here again. You probably don't need to run research, just build like chariots or something in here, man. Like that. 
This is a city that would run scientists, except it doesn't have a library. I was doing it somewhere. Yeah, here. Okay, as long as we're doing the scientist thing somewhere, it's okay. I can go pillaging if I really want money. Kind of need it, so... It's so weak. Taoism in... Oh, Victoria's teching away. Look at her go. set up <clears throat> wait a spy oh, I built the great wall didn't even realize cool oh yeah it's right there it's blind <laughs> fill the gap what, what Frederick was doing but I think I'll go here that makes a lot more sense going here and using that and the iron and the floodplains I would love it if he coughed up calendar but being a prick isn't he a couple reinforcements I mean I can almost get there Almost. Yeah, Victoria's teching pretty well. I'll go on that tile, I can get there in one turn. Can't imagine he'll have much other than a bunch of chariots. So I might give that a shot. Is that gold mine? Um, I'll irrigate this wheat like that. And another cottage. Can't do that, I'm gonna go broke. I need to take another city and get more money. That's the idea. Making a road here to connect us up. Got a nice tile there, nice, nice. And go that way. Can I have a road there? I actually have a lot of guys coming. I think he's planning to settle there. The chariot's been sitting there for a while. Little does he know he's gonna die. Silly fool doesn't learn his lesson. <clears throat> I got an archer here to help the defense a bit. Should be totally safe now. 
Not sure what else there is to really do. I missed the cow here. I think Darius is probably going to get that freaking idiot. Yeah, Freddy's city placement is pretty awful. I think I should build units there. I have a stable. Other cities can build research. We'll slowly, like, chip away at currency. Get more libraries up. Should be able to get there. Maybe not if it was Didi, but... I can't imagine he has much in that city. I really can't. Now, these random chariots could get me. Not if I kill them next turn, though. Well... Oh, I should be able to take that next turn. Put a turn into that and see what happens. Can't tell if he has iron or not. I don't think he does. Not with two cities. Oh shit, I thought he was there. <laughs> Wait, where the hell is he? What? Huh? Okay, I messed that up. I thought he was right here. Oh, I completely... Because I thought this was the culture, right? Like that, and then the city was in the middle? Okay. Completely misjudged that. Oh, that's awkward. That's... Yikes. Okay, well... I'm gonna be scuffed as hell, but... Okay, so he must be here then, on this tile. That's really bad for me to get to, though. Oh, man. Okay, I can kind of do it that. It's going to be three turns, though. Oh, I have to kill these guys. Um, I don't think it's physically possible for him to get to the city because I'm blocking the roads. And I have an archer coming anyway, so beat it. Oh, he has a guy over here. Look at that, 90% chance, War Chariot vs Chariot. So good, isn't it? 90%, man. That's the difference. War Chariots are so good. Yeah, I used to see in it to climb up the difficulties a couple of years ago. Went from Noble all the way to, like, Immortal. Oh, shit. <laughs> Um, anyone want to give me some money? No? Oh, well, we're in, um, a bit of a pickle here. Okay, that's okay. He just... No fighting back, no nothing. He's such a wuss. He got horse archers. The three archers and... Okay. Don't think he has enough, though. Ah, oh, that stupid oasis blocking me. Honestly, think I can get him. Four guys. It's flat land. Not across the river this time. I have like... A nice amount of units here. Should be enough if I just get any... I just have to win like one fight. Yeah, let's do research now and try and get the currency. Because I'm pretty close now. When I try and push to that, I need that, then I'll be fine. Have to do that so I don't die, but... 
The strike economy, guys. <laughs> yeah, he didn't get another guy. What a wimp. My god, this guy is a pushover. <laughs> I'm getting a bit of luck. Formation chariot. Hey, 71%. Yeah! Kills the horse archer, let's go! <laughs> That's awesome. You can't do that with a normal chariot. <laughs> Holy shit. Hello. <laughs> you cannot do that with normal chariots, that is so cool. <laughs> wow. Oh, hey. Well, I can steal some stuff from Victoria. That's probably the way to do it. She can go tech to civil service and I'll take it off her, you know? I think that would be nice. I'm just waiting around here with my workers because I'm gonna put a city here in a minute. Couldn't keep expanding. Currency is going to help me pay for my crap in a moment. Not really taking many losses. He's just a huge wimp. I lost one chariot in that attack on his capital. I mean, I got lucky, yeah, but still. Everything is worth what his purchaser will pay for. Nice. Now I get the trades and we're good. Victoria has everything. Get money off him. No, I'll just take this deal. Meditation brings wisdom for everything. Lack of there meditation is a leads and a time for every Know purpose. well what leads you forward and what holds you back. Cut of laws next. Yeah, see my money now. I can run wealth as well. Wealth is much better value. The stage of the game because you have libraries that boost your research, but you've got nothing that boosts your gold percent. So when it's a one-to-one -one with gold versus research in the cities, it's better to run wealth. So you can turn the slider up and get more from your libraries, if that makes sense. A few people have asked that question: Why do you run wealth and not research or whatever? Well, that's why. It's just better because you have libraries, but you don't have markets. Well, you you can build markets, but. Not efficient, and you won't get as many as you would have libraries. Even more so, because I'm creative. And he's just a total pushover with no metal. My god, he's like... Softy. Absolute zero, so loves bullying Frederick. <laughs> Can see why. <laughs> the guy just can't fight. The little baby wimp. So look at this, I'm fine to go all the way to Cuddalores now. I wonder if I can get it in two. Might be able to actually, if I push. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, really? Peace Vassal. Well, she got feudalism that turn. That's pretty lame. Stupid freaking Chungus. Have an angry Chungus after me.
the hell? My farm here got- I had a farm here and it got, like, smashed. I don't care, I'm just gonna settle more cities. Alexandria. Well, we'll just kill the vassal and then she'll probably get the idea after that, right? Can I get marble? Was somebody trading marble? Yeah, Louis, my man. If you're not gonna build that, I will. And go use all my workers in. The world and go chop out mausoleum, that'll help. I think I can go steal feudalism and stuff off her though. In fact... Yeah. Darius is upset, what the hell? Declared war on our friend, minus three. Oh man. Don't be like that, dude. Nice, oh, he's pleased. Nice guy. We can go kill Vicky with war elephants. Alright, Freddy, it's time to say goodbye to you. Fool, she's not going to protect you. Got an archer there just so I could move the chariot away, if that makes sense. A couple guys here for defense. You should go over here. We might have to defend. I'm sure she's gonna. Yeah, she's gonna come. One way or another. Uh, can we get that in one? I would have to run a bit more research or wealth somewhere. There you go. To bring about the rule of righteousness in the land so that the strong should not harm the weak. Yeah, she's ticking very freaking fast for an immortal AI. It's not even like 1 AD. She's got early longbows. She's probably on civil service right now. She's got philosophy. Like what the hell? Ticking like a DD AI. Like Jesus Christ, slow down. It's the end of Freddy. We're gonna go smash Victoria. Might not be able to take her cities, but I can definitely wipe out her army. With what I have. And I have 13 cities, dude. I have like half the map now. <laughs> I can put another one like over here. I think I should before Darius does, actually. I'll find a way to afford it. Don't worry, guys. Um, I want to grow in like one turn here if we can. Stupid whale, man. <clears throat> Such a shit resource to have in your capital. You just can't use it for more than half the game. Like, what the hell's up with that? So useless. Horrible resource. It's the worst resource to start with. Just can't use it. I'm gonna steal like feudalism, maybe even civil service offer. You build mausoleum, sounds pretty good, man. I need more workers over here chopping. Why are we building a mine there actually? We should be chopping out mausoleum. Getting sidetracked a bit here. She's not doing anything. Stupid witch. Right, let's go. What the hell? No. I'll take the food in a minute. <sighs> Doesn't even have a proper road system. You can 
into a granary here. What are the trades looking like? Oh, what a cool dude. <laughs> what a cool dude. He's the man. Helping a bro out. What a guy. Horse archers, huh? Where's the capital? That's what I want to know. Probably should get one of those, yeah? I think we chop out courthouses in these cities, to be honest. Best way to stay alive here. Try and grow this capital. Can improve my calendar stuff too. Markets are actually good. <laughs> Cosmos Light is at zero. Um, did I ever get mono? No, I didn't. I need masonry. Okay, let me get masonry monotheism. Probably worth it so I can whip courthouses a bit cheaper. Go courthouse even before the granary. I don't know why Darius is not settling that spot. Pretty stupid. Whoa. Could go construction and kick her ass. I kind of want to recover. I'm dying a bit. Ah, oh, yeah, gold in the capital, of course. Of course. Why not? So she has gold in the capital. Freddy has gold in the capital. Sitting Bull has gold in the capital. Jarrell has gems. <laughs> nice game, huh? And I'm here with a whale. <laughs> uh, just find it funny. Where's your army, witch? What'd she do? Oh, she stole monotheism, did she? You stupid chungus. I'm gonna steal much better things off you in a minute. If she has an army, I'm ready for it. Buddhism, huh? Okay. 
Spread that around. You know what? I instantly found my spy before it even got to the city. Okay, piss off. You know what? An archer, a longbow... <laughs> this is not enough to defend. I don't care that she has longbows. One longbow with no promotions. And I killed it. <laughs> you wanna talk now? Looks like she's building an army here. That's probably a bit harder to take. She's so weak though. Uh, heroic capic spot. This would be nice, but not enough food. Um. Berlin. Kind of low food, but it's a bit better. Might do Berlin. Munich. A real good heroic epic spot, to be honest. Um, Mound City is not bad, actually. A lot of food. Cow, copper, three hills. Yeah, I like that, actually. And I have a barracks and stuff here already. I think I'll just attack her with construction in the next episode, so I'm gonna... Finish her with construction. Um, try and steal something off of her too, if I don't get screwed on that. Okay, I'm gonna settle my guy here, so I don't want to be building spies in there. This other cities should be building spies. I've got mausoleums, so I can do Golden Age, which is pretty cool. In 11 turns or so. So, heck yeah. Piece of shit city. More of a burden on my economy than anything, but that's all right, I guess. Go for a spy here. Whip it next turn, I guess. Get that guy out. Get that guy out. Get that guy out. Um, yeah, I'll get that courthouse out eventually. I'm going to crawl to construction. I don't want to whip here, man. I need a lighthouse, actually. Lighthouse might help. How am I going to get a lighthouse? Maybe whip the lighthouse into the market with organized. It's not too bad. Have some sheep, you witch. We'll try getting to construction. I'm hoping she's going metal cast. I can steal metal casting and feudalism off her and philosophy and just steal it all. Kind of nice when you get a great spine, you got a good tecker next to you. You can actually leverage it quite a bit. Wealth is okay here. Oh, get a courthouse here, dude. Yeah. 
straight into the lighthouse. I can whip that next turn, that's nice. I should probably do courthouse too. It shouldn't be too hard to like whip them when we have Buddhism and organized religion helps a lot. Library, good courthouse dude, I'm not attacking much. And the courthouse has come online, should be okay. It's just 186 gold, holy shit. And 160 of it being city maintenance, it's not even my unit cost, I have a tiny army. It's just, yeah, the city's having half the map, you know. That's okay. We'll manage. Anyway, I'm gonna take a break here, so thanks for watching and I'll be back.